Good morning. Welcome back to Lake Hiawatha. I'm Emily Jared Hughes, and I'm going to be leading Spring Forest Qigong every day. I'm going to take a few moments to just settle in while all the streams of people join us. So I know the Zoom filter filters out some sound, but I'm often hearing fish leaping, lots of insects. enjoying this beautiful morning, sending you this beautiful morning from Lake Hiawatha Park in Minneapolis. I was just reflecting on how I'm sharing with you this beautiful place to gather this morning for Spring Forest Qigong every day. And I'm really right in the middle of a city. If you were able to go um, a little bit higher, you would see the skyline right behind the trees behind me. And there's traffic and sirens and airplanes that are also part of the noise here. And much closer, there are herons and bird, um, bugs and beaver I've seen most mornings. So it's all here. So I'm Emily Jarrett Hughes, certified trainer and healer. I'll be teaching a level one training. Speaking of being a trainer, I'll be teaching a level one training coming up in September, co-teaching with uh, trainer Nikki Kolaji. And that is such a joy. So if you are thinking of taking level one, I encourage you to take it with anybody. It's such a beautiful foundation to help you understand what is happening in the Spring Forest Qigong everyday practice. Um, it will make so much more sense and you'll have such a foundation for going deeper. So this week I have been guiding us through Spring Forest Qigong practice with the lens of water. And uh, I think you, I'm, my approach is revealing so much how I feel like Qigong is a healing art. It's an art, it's creative. These healing movements we have are like our creative tools. And then we can use them to color and paint and explore different, um, different aspects of life of this universe. And so today is all on water. I've been exploring different ways of being a love radiator, uh, a watershed love radiator, meaning, and there's so many meanings, three meanings to that. This is based on Ched Meyer's work. Being a love radiator in your watershed, being a love radiator in this watershed moment, because your love matters so much right now. And then also approaching the water as a, your master as a teacher. And yesterday we talked about confluence. And today I wanna to talk about the cycle of water, the story of water, just really feeling the presence of water. Um, so one beautiful thing about water is the way it cycles and it's always moving through evaporation and condensation. Um, and becoming, and then raining down, collecting, very aware. I get very dewy when I walk here in the morning because there's so much condensation. Um, so it's the same water cycling and moving around the planet so many times. And we can think about people um, calculate how many, the water in our body has been in so many bodies before us. And the water actually came from the universe. It was created in the same clouds that create stars and planets and came into our planet through rocks and led us through this beautiful life on earth. So today we practice a movement called connecting with our body's energy. So we're going to connect with the energy of the water that's been here for so long. And we're going to balance, we balance that energy with a feeling of appreciation. And I'm going to bring appreciation for the profound story water has. Just to grow an appreciation for that. So just see more and more and are nourished more and more by the water. All right, sounds good. Let's begin. First thing I wanna do is gather some water so that it can be and kind of in a concentrated form with us as we practice, just like we invite our loved ones to be with us and visualize them with us healing. 
I'm going to gather this water. Try again. There we go. All right. And again, at this point where there are goose footprints all around me. So can you take a moment to stand where you are and think of all the beings who have stood there before you through time. Breathing in through your nose, up to your head and down through you from your head into your feet. You're gonna gently start bouncing from your knees. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Dropping any tension from your shoulders. Inviting your whole body into your bounce. Your bounce for this morning, which may be different from any other bouncing you've ever done. It can be smaller, faster, bigger, slower. Just tuning into yourself. And your whole self being part of the bounce. Come, bring our hands above the head, letting our wrist flop. And you need to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You rest your tongue on the tip of your roof of your mouth behind your teeth. Then your breath goes out the sides of your tongue. Over with our hands over the head is opening our lungs, our lymph system, helping balance the energy between our head and body. And we find ourselves settling into the bounce, resonating more and more with the vibration of the earth. Bring your hands down, we're gonna Bounce gently side to side, activating the spaces between your spine. Coming back to center. and to stillness. Now we're gonna to tap to stimulate 12 main energy channels in the body, starting here with the cheekbones, tapping nine times. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. The base of the eyebrows. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Cupping the top of the head. Love, 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 joy, joy, joy. Peace, peace, peace. And the base of the head, I like to support the front. Love, 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 joy, joy, joy. Peace, peace, peace. Massaging C7 with love and joy, and joy in your shoulders. Peace in your shoulders. Wow. And clapping your hands to stimulate the heart. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Into the left elbow. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. To the right. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Into the armpit. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace. Peace, peace. The other side. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And continue by tapping the tailbone, all the muscles up and down the tailbone and sacrum. 
We have a nice wide open channel for the vitality of the earth to come into your body. And now with loose fists, tapping the hip joints. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And tapping the front of the knees. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Behind the knees. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Both sides of the left knee. Love, 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 joy, joy. Joy, peace, peace, peace. And both sides of the right. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. So we're gonna widen the stance a little bit about your shoulder width apart. Coming to beginning of the universe position and standing as a pine tree. Your knees are soft. Your tailbone can drop and be long. The back of your neck is long. It's comfortable. You can close your eyes and tune in to the sensations in your body. Resting your tongue on the roof of your mouth, behind your teeth. Putting a smile on your face. Your elbows are out breath away from your side and your fingers are gently activated by holding a ball, relaxed and activated at the same time. Relaxed and activated like a pine tree. In Chinese, pine tree song. So you tap into song Tap into that vibration of the pine tree. In this by position, then the chi flows the best. Song. And take a bright breath in, breathing in through all your skin. Collecting chi from the universe into your lower dantian, behind your navel, this lower energy center. And as you exhale, anything you no longer need can go back to the universe. You remember the password in your heart. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Notice any subtle difference, tingling, vibrations. You make that connection stronger, more conscious. Bring the energy up to your heart. Call on the universe, on your master's energy, and your ancestors to help you with your meditation. Feel the love, the profound example of compassion of your master. Merge with their profound, enlightened energy. Noticing how it makes you breathe differently. Settles your mind. How your heart opens to all there is. And you set your intention for your meditation today. For your healing longevity, for your life purpose, awakening. Say it now.
and know you are guided and supported by the universe. So you let go into the vibration, the sensation of our practice today. So now we're going to begin bringing our hands together in front of the navel, making a heart and widening the stamp just a little bit, maybe a half step out. So you have this nice wide stance that allows you more fluidity. It's connecting with your body's energy. You need to breathe in, shift your weight to the left. Breathe out, shift your weight to the right. Breathing in, shifting your weight to the left. Breathing out, shifting your weight to the right. Your knees so soft, you're shifting maybe 70% of your weight each direction. So it's very fluid. And if it's comfortable, and if it's natural, you'll notice that your lower Dantian may guide you, lead you to bring a little bit of a spiral to the practice. Just follow it, you're not forcing it. And we're bringing in the feeling of appreciation. And I invite you to appreciate the beautiful miracle of the clouds of gases that give birth not only to stars and planets, they give birth to water. And there's pieces of frozen water in these clouds that then become the center for rocks to form around them, little pieces of material first gather, gradually becoming bigger, bigger rocks. And so we have rocks with water in them in the universe. And they come collect as our planet, they come to our planet, crash into our planet as our planet grows and takes shape and the water is released through those rocks to vapor over time, building our oceans. And appreciate all of those rocks, all of that time. In the water, eventually appeared single-celled organisms. First, simple. They were in the water. The water held them, supported them for billions of years. Can we picture? Can we appreciate billions of years? Slowly making our atmosphere. And only after this very long time was it necessary for oxygen loving organisms to come balance the atmosphere. 
more deep time. Appreciate the water supporting this long, slow process. The same water that is behind me, that is in you. It's part of this long, slow process. Slowly then, they became more animals in the water. Actually, their atmosphere was strong enough that animals and plants could live outside of the water. A long time with the dinosaurs. Same water was with them. Really, the rest of the evolution is also fast. But appreciate this great story of all the water has seen on our planet. All the ways the water is a supporting us. Thinking about the water in the glass that I collected, what could each molecule of water, what story could it tell me, tell us? I feel how that appreciation can just open the heart, connect us even more to who we are as part of the universe. Take one more breath of this movement. And come back to center. Bring your hand, feet underneath your shoulders again. Notice how grounded you are. Now we're going to transition to the chair for some dolphining. Neck. Which is also so good for the lungs and the sinuses. It's this theme of appreciation. It's balancing that system in our body. I invite you to practice this neck dolphining with the feeling of appreciation. So breathing in, you'll scoop an egg with your chin and breathing out, draw that egg back, letting your chest open up. Again, scooping, drawing. Appreciate that wonderful stretching feeling in the front of my chest, all the way to the diaphragm. Approaching this gently always, and gentleness is such an act of appreciation, kindness. We may always encounter, we think, oh, I, the movement should be like this. I think my move body should move like that. But it really is going to move how is best for you. To appreciate the wisdom of your body guiding you 
to do this the best way for you. Appreciating all of the aches, the stiffness, ways your body is doing its very best, loving best for you. Coming to the end of this movement, one last, one last ache. Sitting still, just appreciating but how open the neck feels. How grounded and peaceful you are at this moment. Feeling that you can carry with you through the day. Gently bring the energy from your heart down to your navel. See the energy collecting, spinning like a ball, spinning faster and smaller and brighter, faster and smaller and brighter until it's a brilliant energy seed, an elixir of chi. It's going to help support you every day to tuck it in deep behind your navel. Take some gentle breaths into your navel. As you do that, you can start rubbing your hands, gently floating open your eyes, cutting between your fingers. Massaging your face. combing your scalp and cupping your head. Massaging your ears. All right, I'm gonna stand up for a little bit more of these soothing exercises. Coming down inside of your arm, to the outside. Side. Outside, that was the left arm first. Now the right arm, inside, outside. Inside, outside. Down the left side of the body. And the right side. Down the torso. And massaging the navel. We have the hands together. We're going to go down on the left, cross, and up on the right. Down on the left, up on the right. Oh, I love that always. So good. And in honor of the water, always, we're going to cut the kidneys. That font of water vitality in our bodies. 
and rubbing the kidneys with the backs of your hands, palms of your hands. Oh, and just feel that warmth going into your body. All right, and now I'm gonna offer this water that has collected the beautiful chi field of our practice together back. Tomorrow I will share a song that I learned that is uh, grow, grew out of um, this inspiration to say water I thank you, water I love you, water I honor you every day. So that's a teaser for Friday's session. So join me, blessing your water, this water, water, I love you, thank you, I honor you. All right, I love it to this point. Yay! <laughs> oh, wonderful, okay, so I'm grateful to Master Lin and the lineage of teachers, all the Spring Forest Qigong masters who have opened my heart and shared their wisdom. Thank you to these teachings that are so simple and so profound. And thank you to this beautiful community, this beautiful chi field we've created together, the third essential treasure. Thank you for being part of this community, being here for each other. So I wish you a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow again by the water, weather permitting. And uh, wish you a beautiful day. Bye for now.